All right, everyone, let's have ourselves a little soulmate journey here in this crazy energy. Let's, let's have, it, it actually is high energy right now. You know, you, we certainly will have a lot of gumption to do things, if you will. Ambition is pretty high in this energy, especially with Mars changing signs, which I'm going to pull on and probably tomorrow, maybe, or the day after. That being said, I've got one deck for the DF here. I got one deck for the DM. I'm switching the decks up a little bit. Normally, I'd do this one for the DF and maybe the Light Seer for the DM. This, this time around, we're switching it up a little bit, okay? Let's see where we go here. All right, let's give the deck a shuffle. It's a general reading. May or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Terry, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. It's a whole playlist of these. They all move at different speeds, all right? So, that being said, bottom of the deck for the DF, Seven of Cups. That's, that's the crossing energy. It's the environmental energy around you. It, that makes sense. It's kind of what we've been seeing. You know, options. Maybe this side picking up that this side has options. I don't know. Let's see. What's the base energy? Six of Cups. Mm. <sighs> where you've been, <clears throat> excuse me, on the DF side, where you've been lacking choice, you're about to be spoiled for choice. Uh, it says something similar to the last soulmate journey. We pulled. And this is why I switched decks. I didn't use this deck in the last Soulmate Journey reading I pulled. On the DF side, it's saying something very similar. I got Six of Cups. I got Seven of Cups. I got options coming towards you here. But I got multiple things. The universe is saying multiple things from your past are showing up. What is going on here? Let's um, clarify with the witches. Let's see where we go. Tell me about the Six of Cups. <clears throat> Ooh, losing my voice today. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is it here? Why is it here? Let's see. For the DF side, six cups. I know. Page of cups. Well, in crossing here is the page of cups. It'll be crossing the center card I pull, which is red with the seven of cups. There's opportunities for, for new love coming your way, but I also get this as new self-expression, new outlets for creativity. Okay? So if you're feeling at all inclined to be creative right now, since most of you watching are the DF side here at my channel, I would try something. Try a new hobby. Try changing some patterns, some habits, some routines. But try a new hobby. Try a new creative outlet. Try something. Uh, but definitely here, I've got new love. The opportunities for it, for sure. What's on top? Um, yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, something you thought had passed you by. One of these options, at least one, maybe multiple, I don't know. But at least one of these options is something you thought had passed you by, but it shows up. It's a surprise. All right, it come. It, it definitely does. You thought that it would never happen, or you thought it passed you by. You thought the opportunity wasn't there. Mm, this energy can be a little bit deceptive. It contains a lot of opportunity within it. We talked about that in some recent readings I've pulled. Center card, crossed by the Page of Cups and red with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, the King of Swords. Yeah, there's just this. <sighs> The king of, it's a, I want to say it's, I, want, I don't want to say something generic like it's communication coming your way because it's crossed by the uh, page of cups and stuff like that. I don't want to say anything generic like that. But I do have underneath this, I have deception. I have the seven of swords fueling this page of cups. And I didn't know that was there until just now. And now I have the king of truth here. Okay, again, there is this energy and it keeps fucking coming up and repeating messages are important. Even scientists put co coincidences in things that repeat in their equations as part of the theory if it happens enough times. Okay? By the third coincidence you start raising an eyebrow. By the fourth or fifth it ends up in your fucking equation. In parentheses, mind you, but it ends up there. Alright? Anyway, my point here... Mm, my point here is this shows up in a all of these opportunities from the past are returning in a different form. Take that how you want. It might be this person, whoever this is that I'm about to pull on on the DM side, returning in a different form. It could be a different behavior, a different way. Maybe they got plastic surgery. I don't know. You know, I have no idea. But that's what it's saying. All right. Wow. Okay. What's red with the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, the page of swords yeah again you were this is something you were, for a lot of you this is maybe a few somethings but let's just focus on one something there's at least one something in here that you were disappointed about that you thought would never happen 
You thought somebody would never say anything to you or you thought you'd never get a chance to do it if it's a soul's true purpose. It's showing back up. But again, you're getting the message here. And I talked about that this, the energy is deceptive before I even knew that was there, that seven of swords. The, it's showing up in a, in a form you may not recognize. Whether it's a person or a situation, you may not recognize it because it's showing up differently. So pay attention. And I think I said that in a recent reading, didn't I? Didn't I? I think I said in the second half of the month, keep your, keep your wits about you, right? Or something along those lines. I know I did. I know I did somewhere. Anyway, let's pull on the DM side. This is good news. This is nice. I'd certainly have somebody from over here coming this way. It feels that way. Maybe a lot of things from the past returning. I got five cups randomly at the bottom on their side. That's my sad horse. It's a lot of regret. A lot of shame on this side. A lot of shame. Why? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, let's go. Shuffle the deck here for the DM side. That's a very nice read. I love it when it, I love that it lines up with the last soulmate journey a little bit too. I like that. I like that from a different deck, man. Repeating messages are so important. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people don't notice them. They don't pay attention to it, and, and that's that's not good. You you should. All right, let's go. You should always listen when the universe is trying to tell you something. All right. DM, what we got here? Okay. <laughs> Their environmental energy is the King of Cups, the Speaker of Love. That's what I get here. The speak. Well, I got the King of Swords, the Speaker of Truth. You know, you're getting you're getting something in a form that you in a form in a form you thought it would never come in. This side speaking truth about how they feel would certainly be different than how they would have approached before. Whoever this is. The DM side, whether it's a new soulmate, a long-lost runner, it doesn't matter. The characteristics are the same. That fear of being vulnerable causes people to lie about their feelings, causes people to run, causes people to avoid, right? Stick their head in the sand, whatever. What's the base energy? Five of Pentacles. Wow. Started out randomly with a Five of Cups at the bottom. Now we got the Five of Pentacles. You got the Five of Pentacles too, but you've got it here. Somebody here. Feel, it's, it's funny because I've got on this side, I've got the DF feeling like this would never happen. It's something, they're disappointed about something they missed out on. And this side over here is feeling like they missed out on this side. Okay? So it's that energy again, and I've, I've had it before, and I'll say, I've had it before recently, and I'll say it again. It's that energy of what didn't want, it, something. Something or someone didn't want you before, now it does. So if you felt disappointed that you missed out on something or an opportunity passed you by, that opportunity, which everything is energy, even opportunities are energy, right? That opportunity feels like it missed out on you. And that's going to bring it there. This, this energy of five pentacles here and five pentacles here attracts. This side comes over here. We know that because the communication, the receiving of things is over here with the six of cups. That being said, this Five of Pentacles is attracting this Five of Pentacles. All right? Hey, you didn't miss out on anything. Here I am. We both want to come on in from out of the cold in some way. All right, let's clarify. Five Pentacles. And look at this. Randomly at the bottom of the light seer that I'm using to clarify is a Page of Swords. That's a Page of Swords on your side, what you're disappointed about. It ties the whole thing together. Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Look at that. And now somebody coming to tell you how they feel. The environmental energy of their behavior right now is they're pulling themselves up by the bootstraps out of the cold to come talk about the feelings. I said, as soon as I pulled that King of Cups, I said, the speaker of feelings, right? All right. Let's go. Uh, the King of Swords is not only the speaker of truth. He's also, in certain contexts, male or female, of course, uh, the receiver of truth. So let's go. Five of Pentacles. What do we got here? We got you have to speak the truth to the king, to the King of Swords, right? You do. That King of Swords you got right there. Um, let's go. Which would be very different from somebody who normally doesn't. Uh, tell me about the Five of Pentacles. The King of Cups will come with it. Let's clarify. Let's see where we're at here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah. Bottom of the deck on their side, you got the Page of Cups here, which was red with your Seven of Cups, etc. They got the Nine of Pentacles, which is red with their King of Cups. Um, it's a liberation energy. It's, it's also got kind of an empty nest feel to it in the sense of somebody feels like somebody feels like they have to say this sort of a thing, but also somebody needs to liberate themselves. Somebody needs to 
get something off their chest. Can we put it that way? It's an energy of liberation. Somebody needs to get something off their chest. It's tied to the King of Cups, so it's about feelings for sure. Underneath that, by the way, is a Queen of Cups. You know. So it is the King. So I read that right. I didn't know that was there. So I read that right. Now a King of Cups, because the Queen of Cups gives the full cup. The King of Cups. It can be a little stingy with it. The Queen of Cups is fueling the King of Cups. That makes the King of Cups give the full cup. And that's where you're the receiver of truth. It all lines up. I mean, the, the energy itself, that's why I throw the cards for you so you can see. It all lines up. But the energy reads pretty clean here. It's pretty easy. You know What's going on? What's on top here? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody feels like you were supposed to be in this picture. Can I put it that way? Now, again, I say somebody. It could be something. For some of you on this side, it can be an opportunity. It can be an opportunity that's coming back around to you. Either way, you're supposed to be in this picture. And this energy, whether it's a thing or a person, feels like you were supposed to be. So they're coming in from out of the cold. All right, let's go. What I said about the Nine of Pentacles. It's something they feel like they have to get off their chest. And it's these feelings. And that Queen of Cups proves they give the full cup. All right, what's the center card? It's crossed by the Nine of Pentacles, red with the King of Cups. That's who? Guess who? The Emperor. All four kings, right? This time, out of balance. Yeah, but not a Burger King. It's reflecting all King of Cups. All right? It's crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody here is all tired of sitting on the Papazon chair by themselves. You'd be perfect right there. You'd be perfect in that picture. All right? That's what I get. That's what the energy is providing the opportunity for. And that's the point I need to hammer home here. Okay? Nobody here at Steve Love Tarot will give false hope to anybody that somebody going to reach out or some kind of shit like that. I can't predict free will, and I tell you that all the time. Okay? And somebody read me the riot act because, well, you said they were going to reach out. I never said shit. I read the energy. The energy provides an opportunity. It's up to our free will to either take the opportunity or fuck it up. If I provide an opportunity for you by setting up a job interview with a friend of mine for a high paying job or some kind of shit, it's up to you whether you show up or not, right? You can decide. You could free will your way out of it and go, no, I'm not going to take that opportunity. All right? That's fine. Knock yourself out. Don't take the opportunity. So the opportunity is here. The energy is here. Somebody's going to be feeling like they need to get something off their chest. Now, that energy is there. Whether they do or don't, right, is entirely up to free will. It's more likely to happen for those of you where this is a thing, right? People are fickle. People are crazy. The DM side here, very afraid to be vulnerable. Very afraid because they, this involves this emperor having to admit that he or she was wrong. Back the wrong horse, went in the wrong direction, made the wrong choice, and it's this it, this energy likes to save face. This energy won't admit it's wrong. This is a blame shifting energy, right? It's like a fucking politician. They can't admit they were ever wrong. They can't. They just blame shift it. You know, it's just what it is. It's just what happens. You know. So, I just want to make that clear before because I'm basically saying expect communication. But again, I can't predict free will. So you have to understand how energy works. And the energy provides an opportunity. That's why we say we can't predict free will. Our free will allows us to do whatever the hell we want to do, really. What's red with the Ten of Pentacles? There you are, Queen of Pentacles. You often reflect this Queen of Pentacles or Empress in my readings. This is my reading. Your energy is the DF side. Most of you are DF side here. The DF side energy is reflecting off of this. Few enlightened DMs. Yeah, but right there. You belong in that picture. It's exactly what I said. I pulled this card to check my read on that one. So, yeah, it's pretty clear. It's pretty cut and dry. This, you got, the DF side's got opportunities coming. It's showing up differently than it normally would. This feels different to me. This feels like a King of Cups who's normally pretty stingy sharing the whole fucking cup. Right? And, and, and hoping you will too. Actually, I don't have any fear here. I don't have anything. I've got clear, cut, and dry energy that you belong in that picture. You belong in this picture right here. Somebody's feeling the same thing about you that you're feeling about them. You feel like you missed out on something or an opportunity went by. Oh, gosh, wouldn't it be great? Well, so, that, so are they. Except the opportunity energy is around this side making them feel like they should do something about it. Making them feel like they need to get something off their chest. Some of them will, some of them won't. It's up to their free will. But the opportunity energy is here. Things can't happen 
if there's no opportunity within the energy, okay? I can take a simple analogy, and please avoid being a smart ass by saying, I like going on picnics in the rain, Steve. It's just an analogy, but I can take a simple analogy and say, if it's raining outside, it's probably not the right energy for a picnic. It's probably a stupid idea to go on a picnic, in fact. Get yourself in some real hot water, if you will. Ha. Anyway, uh, at the end of the day, it, it can't happen. Energy, energy is sunny outside, then the energy is right for a picnic. It's no different. You could take that same thing and apply it here. The energy needs to be right for someone who's afraid to be vulnerable to feel brave enough to be vulnerable. That energy is there in the right now. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline, but I'm not divining that far out. This energy jives with what's going on in the current energies. All right. I'm going to see if there's anything else the universe wants to tell us. Okay. We're going to see where we go here. We'll pull three cards and a crossing card. I don't know if it wants to talk about this side or this side. All right, let's go. Three cards and a crossing card. <laughs> the wheel keeps on turning, turning, turning. The seven of cups, that ties to your seven of cups and the tower. And that, that Seven of Cups is crossed by the Seven of Wands. Things that have been at a distance. The wheel turns everything. And the tower changes everything. Right? These are fast. Things are changing fast. Life, this is a message for the DF. This is a message for all of you. Things have been held back. A lot of energy has been held up, stored up, pushed back. It's all being released all at once. I talked in an energy weather update the other day, which those are fucking readings. Always get the lowest, all bunch of people thumbs downing those energy weather update readings because they don't want to hear, you know, it doesn't match with what their horoscope said or some shit. I'm giving you solid motherfucking information out here about the current energy. And I'm fucking telling you, there's a huge energetic earthquake happening right now. Energy has been held back. And if you hold it back long enough and you, and it's all releasing all at once, like a dam breaking, there's going to be a lot of shit happening. Life's coming at you fast. All right. It really is. And there's nothing you need to prepare for with that. You just need to flow with the energy. That's all you need to do. There's a lot fueling that, that Seven of Wands. There's now, what did I say? It's been held back, right? The whole thing is right here, too. It's not just Wheel of Fortune and Tower. It's right here. The Seven of Wands held back, right? Keeping things at bay. What's fueling it? A fucking explosion is fueling it. Things are going to spring into action very quickly. A dam is about to break. And it's going to change a lot of things. Some of you might move. You might change jobs. You might try new careers. You might try new habits. You might have new people coming in all over the place. New soulmates might cross your path. Where there's been nothing happening, there's going to be a lot happening. If you've already had a lot happening, a lot more is going to be happening. All right. So it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful time. But again, try to... I normally don't suggest this, but try to have a bit of an optimism for the future. I try not to tell people to be optimistic. I try to teach people to be neutral. Try to have some kind of optimism for the future, right? Be, it's like I said in recent readings, turn inward. Be grateful. Gratitude is your friend. Gratitude energy and the energy of right now is your friend. Be grateful for where you've been and the journey and the trials and tribulations that may and the successes that may have brought you to where you are. Be grateful for where you are right now in the moment. You should wake up every day glad to see the fucking morning. You really should. And have some optimism. Have some faith that the universe has your back for the upcoming future. All right? That's it. Because I'll tell you what. A dam is about to break. There's a lot of shit coming your way. A lot of, And I say shit. I mean options. Some of it good. Some of it bad. Okay? That's, that's, that's life. It's not fucking roses and rainbows. But where it pertains to the soulmate cycle, the soulmate journey here, yeah, the DM side, the opportunity is there for, for this side to behave completely different from how they normally would. It doesn't just apply to one soulmate, though. It applies to a lot of people around you that you have soul connections with. So you may hear things that people want to say, things that people have wanted to say to you. Life comes at you fast, or at least it's about to. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Pay attention to the energetic weather update I did yesterday because that energetic earthquake just showed up right here. All right? And it's backed up by exactly what came in here. So, that being said, I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.